The James Webb Space Telescope has been giving us some of the best and most detailed shots of the universe we've ever seen. The telescope has taken an unprecedented peek into the early days of the universe, revealing some of the deepest and darkest secrets of our universe. But it appears that James Webb might even be capable of showing us some strange phenomenon right here in the middle of our very own galaxy. Scientists just revealed that the James Webb Telescope just discovered a huge structure at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has been performing exceptionally well since its launch in December of 2021. It remains the most advanced and powerful telescope to date, employing the use of some highly advanced equipment such as the near-infrared camera, amongst others. The very first scientific images from James Webb that were released in July captured the very essence of some of the most unexplored parts of distant galaxies. Some of the main images included more detailed shots of the Carina Nebula, the Southern Ring Nebula, as well as an older group of galaxies called Stefan's Quintet. Light from some of these galaxies has taken billions of years to reach us, indicating that what we are seeing are the early stages of formation of some of these galaxies and stars. But while photographing distant stars is quite impressive, it appears that James Webb might be used to study one of the strangest phenomena in the universe, black holes. Black holes aren't simply a strange cosmic phenomenon, but are actually one of the most powerful forces in the universe. These invisible parts of space can't be photographed like stars and galaxies because they exert a gravitational pull so powerful that even light can't escape its dark abyss. But thankfully, light can still persist and form patterns around these gravitational giants, forming something of a photonegative, indicating the presence of these massive cosmic giants. An international team of researchers and astronomers set out to capture the very first image of a black hole, targeting the supermassive black hole that sits at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, Sagittarius A. The image of Sagittarius A was almost impossible to capture and required the collaborative effort of multiple observatories and radio telescopes around the world. This global network of radio telescopes was called the Event Horizon Telescope, and the process with which a single image of Sagittarius A was captured was rather impressive. This network of radio telescopes operated as a single unit, making a planet-sized telescope, the largest ever to be operated. A combination of 10 observatories spread across the planet worked together simultaneously, from observatories in Spain to another in the French Alps and all the way to MIT in the United States. The antennas from these observatories all needed to be synchronized down to the nanosecond, such that atomic clocks were placed at each location to kickstart the process at the exact same moment. The antennas and observatories used to capture the image of Sagittarius A had to observe in radio wavelengths for one major reason. The location of Sagittarius A is smack in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy and is surrounded by a thick haze of interstellar gas and dust, which absorbs light at an optical wavelength. For this reason, observing the black hole using a regular infrared telescope, which observes in the optical wavelength, would have been impossible. After sinking the antennas, astronomers focused the Event Horizon Telescope at Sagittarius A, which sits at about 27,000 light-years away from Earth, cutting through a sea of stars, planets, and cosmic dust. The resulting data was combined and computed using complex mathematical processes which recreated the captured image. The reconstructed image showed the very first view of Sagittarius A, which displayed the form of a glowing, donut-shaped ring of light. This ring image isn't of the black hole itself, but rather the outline of light outside the event horizon, which is just beyond the barrier where light cannot escape the gravity of the supermassive black hole. The bright yellow ring surrounding the black hole is a white-hot plasma with an estimated temperature of over 18 billion degrees Fahrenheit. Also, with the dimension of the ring surrounding Sagittarius A, scientists were able to determine that the supermassive black hole was roughly 4 million solar masses, meaning it was about 4 million times the mass of the Sun. It also indicated that Sagittarius A was incredibly compact and dense with an apparent size that could fit within the orbit of Venus. This image of Sagittarius A was the very first visual confirmation that the supermassive black hole indeed existed at the center of our galaxy, especially at a time when researchers were beginning to doubt its existence. The image proved that predicted dimensions based on Einstein's theory of general relativity were accurate and that irrespective of their gargantuan gravitational pull, black holes still obeyed the most basic laws of quantum physics. 
But while the images of Sagittarius A answered previous questions about the state of the center of our galaxy, it posed an even bigger question after scientists discovered something incredibly strange while observing that region of space. As it turned out, the Milky Way galaxy is more bizarre than astronomers had previously anticipated, and the discovery of an invisible barrier around the center of the Milky Way galaxy has raised even further questions about the current state of our galaxy. A team of researchers from the Chinese Academy of Science had taken a keen interest in the movement of cosmic rays in and around the center of our galaxy and made a stunning discovery. The team investigated a series of maps that show the movement of radioactive gamma rays blasting through and around the center of our galaxy. Gamma rays make up the highest energy forms of light in the universe and can arise when extremely high-speed particles known as cosmic rays crash into particles of ordinary matter. The study of the map revealed that something very near the center of the Milky Way galaxy appears to be hindering the movement of these particles and accelerating them to exceptional speeds very near the speed of light. These accelerated particles are now creating an abundance of cosmic rays and gamma rays just outside the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Also, the study revealed that although the galactic center appears to be blowing a constant storm of high-energy radiation into interstellar space, there appears to be something near the galactic core preventing other waves of cosmic rays from entering that region of space. A team of researchers explain this effect as an invisible barrier that appears to be warped around our galactic center and is actively preventing a density of cosmic rays from entering the region. This invisible barrier also appears to be keeping the concentration of cosmic rays inside the center significantly lower than those found throughout interstellar space. The study revealed that it appears cosmic rays can get out of the galactic center, but this invisible barrier makes it incredibly harder for cosmic rays to get into the region. The center of our galaxy is roughly between 26,000 to 27,000 light years away from Earth in the constellation Sagittarius. This region of space is incredibly dense and filled with cosmic dust and holds a little over 1 million times as many stars per light year as the entire solar system. These stars and dust particles all wrap around a supermassive black hole that holds the Milky Way galaxy together. Scientists suspected Sagittarius A or perhaps some other unidentified cosmic object located at the center of the galaxy had been accelerating electrons and protons near the speed of light. This activity has been creating cosmic rays that shoot out throughout the Milky Way galaxy and onward to other regions of intergalactic space. These cosmic rays are constantly flowing through the magnetic field of our galaxy, creating an invisible potion of high-density particles, all of which have roughly uniform density throughout the entire Milky Way. This constant flow of particles is called the Cosmic Ray C. A team of researchers compared the density of cosmic rays within the galactic center to that of the cosmic rays found in the Cosmic Ray C. Cosmic rays are impossible to see with normal infrared telescopes, but scientists are able to map them out using gamma-ray maps of space, which indicate regions of space where cosmic rays collide with other forms of matter. Using this comparison, scientists were able to come to a conclusion that something was not only accelerating cosmic ray particles and shooting them out into space, but was also actively preventing other such particles from entering into the galactic center. The team had initially suspected that the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A was the obvious culprit. This is because black holes can theoretically accelerate and shoot particles out into space, even as they appear to engulf everything else into the event horizon. It has been proven that scientists found the remnants of supernovas and strong stellar winds that originated at the early stages of the universe crammed into the center of the galaxy as they were unable to shoot out into intergalactic space as a result of this invisible barrier. But the theory that Sagittarius A could be causing this barrier was discarded. This is because the gamma ray map indicated an obvious point where the concentration of cosmic rays appears to drop significantly at the edge of the galactic center. This would be in stark opposition to how supermassive black holes behave as there would be a constant decrease in cosmic ray densities instead of a sharp drop if a black hole was causing this barrier. Another likely explanation for the barrier could be stellar winds resulting from the huge concentration of stars pushing against incoming cosmic rays, causing the apparent barrier the same way solar winds push against cosmic rays causing the heliosphere that surrounds our solar system. 
This could be the most plausible explanation, as the heliosphere surrounding our solar system also acts as a barrier that keeps the density of cosmic rays within the solar system significantly lower than the density just outside the barrier, as recorded by Voyager 1. Scientists have indicated that further research would be needed to better understand how and why this invisible barrier is present within the center of our galaxy, and they would need the help of the James Webb Telescope to do so. And the James Webb Telescope has been targeted and planned to observe the behavior of Sagittarius A, as it has proved rather difficult for other inferior telescopes to study. In collaboration with the New Horizon Telescope, James Webb will attempt to understand the flickering effects of Sagittarius A, which has an apparent tendency to flare up on an hourly basis, making it incredibly difficult to image. This is mainly because although Sagittarius A is a lot further than other observable black holes, it exhibits flickering flares that arise as charged particles tend to accelerate around the supermassive black hole, increasing to higher energy levels and creating light emissions. Using its various highly advanced instruments, James Webb will observe the Sagittarius constellation from its position in space, while the New Horizon Telescope will join its effort on the ground. Together, both telescopes will work in harmony to observe, recreate, and interpret not just better imagery of Sagittarius A, but also the weird and bizarre phenomenon like the invisible barrier that surrounds that region of space. The planned observation will hopefully give us a more detailed understanding of why the supermassive black hole flares and if it indeed has anything to do with the massive invisible barrier that appears to surround it.